The Toronto Maple Leafs can breathe a sigh of relief today as they have re-signed restricted free agents Kasperi Kapanen and Andreas Janssen. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out our Instagram at Goal Line Hockey as well. And let's look at this pair of signings for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Alright, so the Maple Leafs are making some moves. As people have been saying, the Leafs have been strapped to Marner. They're afraid to sign guys and this and that. Well, that's obviously not the case. As they have re-signed some pending restricted free agents. Uh, that would have been on July 1st. Uh, Andreas Janssen signs a four-year contract with an annual average value of $3.4 million. Kasperi Kapanen signs a three-year contract at $3.2 million. So a little bit less term and a little bit less AAV. These are both likely bridge contracts just to see how they will pan out. They they pretty much know they're, you know this is a cap team. And they probably feel like they can win on this team. They've played in the top, the top six at points this year, so they want to be a part of this team moving forward. Whether that means Marner's part of the equation in the future, more than likely, yes. But it's still yet to be seen at this point. Um, you have to think that the Leafs are thinking about other things with defense and Marner and this and that. But at least they have a little bit better of a look heading into next year knowing they have these guys locked up two pretty good depth players can jump into the top six if need be probably better top nine players but nonetheless good depth signings for the Maple Leafs now like I mentioned this now all well, the spotlight comes on to Mitch Marner and what's gonna happen with him because these guys are resigned more than likely I wouldn't have been surprised if these guys got off offer sheeted over Mitch Marner just because of the amount of draft picks and things like that would have been a lot less for these players obviously with a lower cap hit but we'll see what happens there's still a market for for wingers and teams are gonna have to look elsewhere now there was rumors that in terms of moving the Marlowe contract that maybe would have costed one of these two players well I guess the goal from Dubas was to re-sign these guys with the money they saved in Patrick Marlowe so Cost of the first round pick for next year, but they're able to keep these two guys and, and now have them locked up to contract. So that seems to be the plan all along from Kyle Dubas. And we're going to have to wait and see what happens with the Maple Leafs in terms of Marner and possibly Jake Gardner. So thank you for watching us here at Goal Line Hockey. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe. Check out our uh, potential destinations uh, playlist, taking a look at some players that may be available on July 1st and where they may end up. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.